Well, after I take a look at the extreme Ghostbusters Ecto Code 1, I have to admit, I'm not a particularly great shot, so I'm guessing I'm gonna struggle here a lot more than I should. <laughs> this is gonna be a bit of a pain. Because I sometimes get my uh, left and right shoulder triggers mixed up. One switches characters, the other drops your special weapon. Really need to make sure you don't get those messed up, right? But yeah, I, I guess the other two got captured, because we only get to use two of the extreme Ghostbusters on this team. That's kind of disappointing, though at least we still have access to the female Ghostbuster, whose name I've forgotten because it's been too damn long. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't watched this show since it was airing on television, you know, like back in the 90s. Why do you think it's called EXTREME? Well, like you got you gotta put the emphasis on there, too. It's EXTREME! You know? But yeah, who are you gonna call? The Extreme Ghost Buyers. Oh, Kylie, gotcha. Can't believe I missed that earlier, but this dialogue disappears so fast, I'm barely paying attention to it. Ah, uh, yes. That's always the best part of a game, right? Getting to drive a car. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the uh, button. Not not up, I gotta hit the other button. Boom. Though I still control my uh, direction with the uh, this stuff. Guess I could try pushing those out of the way to get more time-ups. I mean, those are a nice game to have, I suppose. But we don't need all of them to, you know, make it to our target. Not even most of them. So there's no point in going out of our way to be a jerk and knock over every car we come across. I mean, that's what's really going to eat up time, is if we start doing that. Darn, I missed it. That sucks. But who designed these streets, man? They're very weird. Like, seriously. Are the streets in New York really this messed up, or is it just this game? <sighs> and my eyes are starting to blur. This sucks. Um, okay, let's see. Yep, we're closing on our target. Yep, we made it to the big building. Yep. Truly worthy of a password right there. Ah, uh, the hall, huh? Well, no. Oh, uh, sleeping janitor. Truly a, a fearsome adversary right there. First, my big problem with Kylie's gun is she can't uh, point it down. She can point up and around with it just fine, but... If you need someone to shoot down low, you gotta switch characters. So you almost have to use this guy in the boss fight we're coming up to, because he's the only one that can shoot go the snake ghost. Ugh. He's also useful for shooting up these things because you know they're not powerful but Kylie takes a lot of shots to deal with these things man I mean it's just the way of the game I suppose it's just irritating like we have access to a fast agile female character but she can't shoot down because reasons like seriously what was the justification And yeah, I know, I could deal with these guys with some ghostly traps. Like, it sucks them in, so it's not like it'd be hard. Okay, we're gonna need this thing to jump over there. Darn it. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you need odd additions to your uh, get up there. Yeah, we're taking you out from a distance. Better safe than sorry in my book. Oh, we landed on a desk. Why? Well, now. We found the first puzzle piece. Of 12. Yeah, there's not a lot of puzzle pieces. There's only like four stages in this game. A little bit of luck. I'll lead us to the Count's Lair. Hopefully. Keep investigating the place and keep me informed. Shane Slimer wish you good luck.